I think it's just being competitive, just always been around a pool, younger, always in the summer growing up at the pool. Being a sprinter too of the sports, more the high pace, just my quickest race is four laps, so I just like being in and out. That's all I like about it. Buchanan native Tim Squires is on the fast track to becoming maybe the fastest swimmer in school history. And the best part is, he's always been a mountaineer. Well, I was looking at schools just close, and then WV was always back in my mind. My family, I, my mom went here, so it was kind of like, kind of following her footsteps too. And then after meeting Vic and Damien and the staff, I mean the uh, swimmers, then it was kind of like in these decision like, kind of fit in so you know where you belong. Squires redshirted two years ago. It gave him time to heal a few injuries and a chance to build on his abilities and the team's abilities. The main thing was just we had a young team and then he sat me and Bryce and Q down and we kind of all agreed that we'd take a year off, let the team get older. Our main goal was to get a relay to NCs, which we did. The biggest thing was just getting the extra year training just I mean, we still competed, but it wasn't as much, and I think we focused more just on training than going. We didn't have to travel as much, so we didn't have meets. We'd sit back and train, so I think that just helped a lot. By the time the 2014 Big 12 Championships arrived, Tim made the conference take notice, winning the 50-meter freestyle. The 50 was mainly my main focus, because it's, I always feel like I'm better in the 50, so I was more confident in everything. Uh, just swim against the Texas guys. Try not to think about it. Again, I kind of like being the underdog, so then you just got nothing to prove except for yourself, so then you just go out and when you're behind the block, you just don't think about it, and then when I hit the water, I just try to kick as hard as I can, fast as I can, and not breathe. Because I remember after I finished, a couple guys are from Texas on the team, and they know guys on Texas, and they're like, they're a little shocked. So that was always nice to hear. The next day in the 100 meter freestyle, Tim Squires pulled the upset. Tim Squires, who won the 50 earlier, is going to be very good. That was John Murray trying to catch Jim. Tim Squires. Matt Ellis is now making a move. Matt Ellis, John Murray, Tim Squires. Tim Squires gets it by a hair. He goes under 43 seconds. He not only wins the 50, he wins the 100. That doesn't happen very often against all these big Texas freestyle guys. That was a big, that was a bigger shock. Even the, I know Vic and Damien, it was definitely a bigger shock. Cause the 50, I guess I swam well in it all year and 100, just a surprise, which was nice. For his efforts, Squires was named most outstanding male swimmer of the meet. That was a little shocking. I remember I was walking back changing cause after a while, I don't know why they kept calling names. So I figured I didn't get it. And I was actually in mid-changing and they called it and I had to throw people's shirts on, run over and go get the award. I mean, there's also Texas guys who got two first places and I mean, they won relays, but I think maybe I got the upper hand because I mean, it doesn't happen all the time. So it was nice. Building on those championships is the goal. And right away this season, Tim set a WVU pool record, removing a rival name off the wall of honor inside the natatorium. This year I just wanted to hit it hard, hit it quick. And then that was my main goal is get the pit guy off the board, so it was always nice. Being from West Virginia means a lot too, because it was an easy decision to come here, and then my family's always watching me. They get to come to all my meets, and just representing the people that I know in the state, it just means a lot. 